Max Elite, uh, what kind of uh, platform Max Elite provide to the, uh, to the models in the fashion industry? Well, I think to begin with that we have to really congratulate Elite for coming down to this country to get an international stand of what we really require this time in this country. Uh, I think Max has been uh, very generous to have this happen and we are happy to be part of it and uh, just to see the entire modeling industry get revived again through, a, through an international pageant like this, uh, I think that is really, really commendable at this point. Uh, Tiffany, what, is, what is your assessment of the upcoming models? See, um, the reason why I'm here and I think we both are here is because um, today we actually got to see um, as, as, as he very rightly said that it is a certain type of a look that we're looking out for. It has to appeal to the international market as well. We're also looking at Indian rustic, very raw, uh, because Indian girls and boys are very attractive, but they just have to be tapped in the right direction. So I think that is, that is our focus. Our focus is to get uh, beautiful young boys and girls who can, who can uh, you know, represent India internationally and also work in India, not necessarily it's only for international market, more so for both, and why not? Yeah. Do you think it is right to keep them confined for five long years before they can change the You know, the whole idea, see, it's, it's Max Presents Elite. It, it, it is a model, modeling con competition. It's, not, it's nothing to do with, see, what happens is when you kickstart your career, you need few years to establish yourself and and if you kickstart really well and if everything moves in your direction then you would not want to turn back and look back and say oh you know but you need those five years to really establish yourself in one particular career so your before you get into this you should be very clear of what you really want whether you want to just use as a stepping stone and then get into Bollywood or Hollywood or whatever it is but this is purely a modeling competition it's just for models who really see their careers far ahead but is Bollywood the main reason why we don't have supermodels anymore in India? Uh, I think that's no I think I I'm okay, one I example <laughs> <laughs> Ten years of modeling, and I'm still, I still believe that models. In, in fact, um, the, the, I mean, when I started modeling, I think we didn't have these privileges of, you know, of, of these agencies that have come into play right now. I think I started. I was just telling him a couple of minutes ago that you know it was so different for me back then. But but then again, I think this opportunity is one in a lifetime, and I think one should grab it. And these girls are boys are very young, and uh, it's it's a career path made for them. So I think they should utilize it to the to the optimum level. And I don't think uh, Bollywood is the only uh, agenda one should have. There is lots more that a model can do. And we have seen it happening by far. I mean, all of them are successful. Somebody's become interior designer, somebody's got into events, somebody's got their businesses of their own. So it's not necessarily that Bollywood is the ultimate criteria or, or a stepping stone. Modeling is a stepping stone, not at all. I think more so he's crazy. <laughs> no, I love Gavin. I think uh, I we go long back. I won uh, during my glad rags. I was very very new. I was as new as these girls when I see them. It's called nostalgic because he was the first one who um, I approached for my gown and my outfits and everything. And he did it. He did a fabulous job. And obviously that um, that whole support from the time. I think it's been more than ten years. And the best part about Gavin is that he's been very consistent of who he is and what he likes and what he foresees in in his collections every time you see there is a Gavin, Gavin signature of course but he evolves and as he's evolving as a person his collections also evolving so you know when a girl walks on the ramp that she's wearing a Gavin's outfit and more so not only for for only for models I think he designs for women of all shapes and sizes and that is what I think sets him apart from any other designer not only that he's, you know, I told you, he's, he's very popular in India, of course, but you will be surprised at how recognized he is internationally as well, which he's quite humble Thank about you. and he's quite <laughs> quiet about. But I should just mention it now since I'm at it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, how do you find the new talent? Are they as exciting as you used to be in your radio? I think... Uh,